Hello and welcome to the Bike Channel Summer Sportive Season coming to you from the Chiltern 100. My name is Chris Pritchard and we're here at what is firmly established as one of the toughest sportives within the UK. Situated right on London's doorstep, the Chiltern 100 takes in some of the most beautiful scenery the Chilterns area has to offer, proving that brutal can be beautiful. First off the line, as always, was the Grand Fondo, and we were there at 7am this morning to cheer them on. Ali, it's your first time doing this event. Are you it looking is, forward yes. to it? Yes, very much so. I live in the area and I've wanted to do this event for years, so, uh, so you it's know nice the... to finally get the opportunity to do it. So you know these roads very well? Uh, some of them. Some of them I don't think I've done before, so it'll be quite interesting to see some new bits of the countryside. And you've been training hard for it? Um, I've just come back from the Pyrenees. So hopefully this shouldn't be too bad. You're going to be flying then. This is going to be, oh, like, I don't this about gonna, flying. This is going to be like flat. <laughs> This is Didier. Didier, you've come all the way from France just for this event, is that oh, right? That's right, yeah. <laughs> it's a long way, but it's well worth it. Uh, Are you looking forward to it? Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. First time doing it? Uh, no, I've done it a couple of times already. All right. Yeah. You're looking to be your previous best? It's a different, uh, it's a different circuit this time, so we'll see. But yeah, we better let you get better. going so you don't yeah. uh, miss out. Okay. Enjoy. Thanks a lot. Thank you. at the start line it's 7 a.m the first wave of the grand fondo is underway right now hopefully it's going to stay dry hopefully they're going to have a lot of fun
The official charity of the Chiltern 100 is a group called Action for Youth, providing positive and often transformational experiences for young people of all abilities and all backgrounds. This year participants were offered the chance to ride the sporty for £1 if they could raise over £200 for the charity. I caught up with Action for Youth earlier to talk more about the work they're doing. Tell us a little bit about the charity. Well, Action for Youth is a charity that's been operating for about 70 years now and it's different from most other charities in that it's all about helping young people to develop in lots of different ways. We run lots of different programmes for them and create the experiences and opportunities for them to find out what they can do rather than what they can't. So it's a bit like all the, the two and a half thousand cyclists who set off this morning. They're all challenging themselves, pushing themselves to achieve more and do more and learn more. And in lots of different ways, that's what we hope to do for all young people across the area. So it's important for you to be part of an event like the Chiltern 100? We're really excited to be here today. It's the first time we've been partners on an event like this. But it's, it's very much the right sort of ethos for us. It's really positive. It's about being outdoors and this challenge element ties in completely with what we're all about. So we feel very comfortable and very happy to be part of this great race. Brilliant. And have you got many riders out there riding for the charity today? We have. We've got 40 odd who are raising money for us. And that's great. Some of them, we know that one team in particular has already raised more than two and a half thousand pounds for us. Wow. So it's really exciting and uh, we have our fingers crossed that they're going to have a really good race today. Brilliant. And then later on in the year, have you got any other events like this planned or anything exciting coming up? Uh, we have a challenge event at our Outdoor Education and Adventure Centre in Milton Keynes coming up in early September. And uh, we're looking for teams to come and take part there and test themselves, challenge themselves, uh, go out on the lake do a bit of canoeing, do some climbing on the climbing wall, do some archery and caving, a whole mixture of things, something for everyone. So that's our next challenge event that's coming up. And for anybody wanting to find more information about the charity, where shall, where shall we send them? Come to our website, please, www.actionforyouth.org.uk. Back to the action now as we head to the start line for the Medio Fondo here at the Chiltern 100. Sheffield sometime last year and we're now meeting up down in Chilton. Um, looking forward to it? Apprehensive, but yes. Ask me when I finish. You have been riding since we last saw each other. I have, yes. Great, great just a people. bit. And uh, Ian, you're looking forward to this uh, event? Um, the flat bits that I'm looking forward to. It's the uphills I'm not looking forward to. On your bike, please many, inside. Uh, no, according to the top two, there's about 300 uphills. So you get a little piece of... Yeah, we get a top two. This is pro. This is pro. It feels a bit. It's too small, you can't actually read it. Well, if you've got it, it makes you feel a lot more pro. Oh, you still know, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Well, uh, hopefully I'll catch up with you at the finish and we'll, uh, we'll see if it's still small. We shall see, Chris, we shall see. <laughs> Cheers, take care, bye. As with all human race sportives, there is something for everyone and the Chiltern 100 is truly a family event. We checked out what else was on offer here as well as checking out some of the mountain bike action that was taking place alongside the sportive.
So as I mentioned before, there's loads going off at the Chiltern 100 and out here we've got a, uh, a bit of a mountain bike course for the children. We've got Jim from Summit Mountain Bike, mountain bike Club. Yeah. Uh, Jim, what's going on here? Well, it's about um, getting the kids uh, to give it, have a go, really. Yeah, it's their, probably maybe their first chance of having a little uh, go around a cross-country course. There's some little descents, little climbs, little twisty sections, just to replicate what they might find in the woods. So we're doing two things. One is um, the mountain bike course, and then we've got another little skills area, which is all about, you know, if they're getting to those little technical bits in the woods, just giving them those ideas of actually stopping, being able to control their bike and go around the corners tightly. We're about to take a short break now, but don't go anywhere because there's still loads to come from the Chiltern 100, including an exclusive interview from 100 Climbs author Simon Warren. Stay tuned. Yeah. 